yeah we are at a free area where these these are uh, tamaking of these uh, 1.5 kilometer stretch tamaking of uh, the road uh, sorry it's uh, about one kilometer and 1.5 kilometer of uh, paving of uh, the pedestrian walkways this is a very good project that will open up this area to business and other things and uh, let's see yeah the road was done it's called the free area loop road Nakuru municipality it's funded by the World Bank under the Kenya support program Principal, the overall program coordinator is the principal secretary, State Department of Housing and Urban Development. Responsibility is under the Municipal Board of Nakuru. And the contractor is Bahati Africa Limited. This is the paving of the walkways, and they have done so nice. Uh, uh, these are uh, the culverts and the drainage. You know the drainage empties uh, into Lake Nakuru. These are very useful roads because you can see we have uh, Lanet Health Center there. Previously, the, uh, the road was not that good. It had uh, lots of potholes and other things. Actually, they have done it so well. That they have something like a parking here a yard or a frontage this is a free area town frontage the construction of this road was launched on december 4 2021 by former governor ali kenyanjui but uh the construction took some time. You don't know why, you know. Uh, it was uh, a few months or actually it was during the electioneering period. And, uh, you know, governments tend not to fund programs or projects during a campaign period. That's why it's always advisable for governors or MPs or other people to ensure that uh, all their projects are done by uh, the first uh, three years or four years. The last year is always a, a campaign period and nothing much happens. Uh, yeah, there are lots of uh, Calverts here. I see the drainage is well done. And there is a, this is the office of the MCA, area MCA, and there is another project here by the current governor, High Excellency Governor Susan Kehika. It's a proposed construction of perimeter hall at gate at Lanet Free Area Special Hall. It's financed by the Office of the Governor. Project manager is a Chief Officer, Department of Public Works, and the contractor is Fino Limited. Yeah, actually, June uh, was the day of, of, of compression, and actually, it's done. You can see the project is done. The perimeter wall is intact. Yeah, let me take you around, and uh, you enjoy this project here. We have also installed uh, the bumps. Yeah, these are residential area. And there is a need to have uh, such bumps here. Uh, 
something odd or funny about this project is that uh, there are uh, electric posts on the road, all in the middle of the road. As you can see, this is an electric post here, a section where a vehicle should be taking a, a corner. You find that uh, there is this post here. I'm told there is another one on the other end. That's uh, the middle of the road. I don't know what cost this. Yeah, probably the Kenya Power guys uh, didn't come over here to remove the posts. Actually, that's their work. That's not the work of the county government of Nakuru. It's the work of Kenya Power to come and uh, relocate, uh, relocate the posts on the power line. It's something very old. You can imagine what can happen if uh, a vehicle knocks down the power. The power line or the post. These are very beautiful road here. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? This one kilometer loop starts at the free area police station or DO's office that I think was done by Lee Kinyanjui when he was a Nakuru MP. I think that was from 2007 to 2013. It's called the free area sleep road or something. It's somehow like a bypass. Yeah. Continues then uh, heads back to the highway. We are still doing it, that's why you can see the stones. They are not draw. Yeah, down there you head to. Lake Nakuru National Park. I don't know whether you can see Lake Nakuru at the far end. Then you turn up again to the highway. That's the Nakuru Nairobi Highway. So I said they have done some bumps which are very critical here because this area is highly inhabited. Now, on the other thing, uh, as I told you, is that uh, the electric posts are, are, are in the road. You can see here. You don't know Kenya Power may be declined to come over here and uh, remove their posts within time. I remember uh, during the construction of the Afraha Stadium, that was I think in 2020 or 2019, they, have to de they had to delay for so many months because Kenya Power had declined to come over and uh, relocate the power lines. The county government of Nakuru did the sewage. They located the sewage, but uh, Kenya Power took time. That's why there was a delay in uh, launching the project. Here are other posts. 
As you can see, the posts are in the road section. I don't know how usable this road will be because even after they come there after to remove the posts, uh, we can see it will not be that nice because it will not be well compacted when uh, the tarmac is redone. I've counted about uh, seven, seven posts on this road. That's how the road looks like from here. As I noted, I told you the drainage is nicely done. Yeah, I'm back to the highway on the slip road. The area slip road here. Thank you guys for watching and uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe uh, so that you can watch more of such and other videos. Keep it in a today. Thank you so much.